audio program has been produced by YBM. All rights reserved. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're moving some furniture. B. They're entering a meeting room. C. They're sitting at a table. D. They're cleaning the carpet. Statement C, they're sitting at a table, is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one, look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A, he's tying his shoe. B, he's cutting the grass. C, He's reading a magazine. D. He's walking around a fountain. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. They're installing a railing. B. They're sweeping the steps. C. They're looking out a window. D. They're going down some stairs. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. She's paying at a counter. B. She has stacked books on shelves. C. She has opened a refrigerator. D. She's eating a meal in a restaurant. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. Men are washing some cars. B. A building is being constructed. C. The pavement is covered with leaves. D. Some bushes are being planted. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. A clock has been left on the ground. B. Some cabinets are being painted. C. Several brooms have been placed next to a plastic bin. D. Boxes are being loaded onto a truck. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. Some people are talking in small groups. B. Some people are attending a presentation. C. A woman is writing instructions on a whiteboard. D. A woman is distributing a stack of pamphlets. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 7. Number 7. Who approved the marketing budget? 
A. Mr. Chen did. B. I can pay. C. Next to the farmer's market. Number 8. Where's the employee break room? A. On the fifth floor. B. Let's call the repair shop. C. Yes, it's fairly big. Number 9. When can we buy tickets? A. Only four per person. B. A day before the show. C. It's cheaper to rent them. Number 10. Would you be interested in joining our tour of the art museum? A. A famous painting. B. Sure, that sounds exciting. C. 50 years old. Number 11. You have a copy of the report, don't you? A. Yes, it's on my desk. B. I'm sorry to hear that. C. He's a reporter. Number 12. How far are we from the hotel? A. I have three bus passes. B. About a mile, I think. C. Wasn't it yesterday? Number 13. Did you get a chance to read that document I sent you? A. No, but I'll read it soon. B. An additional shipping charge. C. I prefer the library. Number 14. When will Mary return from the conference? A. At the convention center. B. I'll give it back tomorrow. C. In the next couple of days. Number 15. Should we take the train or a taxi to the town hall? A. The training session is down the hall. B. A two-hour delay. C. Let's take the train. Number 16. Haven't you had your computer fixed yet? A. She often uses a computer. B. A software update. C. I need a replacement. Number 17. Why don't you join us for lunch? A. Didn't he already sign it? B. I have to finish this project. C. A membership fee. Number 18. Do you like the new office space? A. In the city. B. Yes, if you'd like to. C. Well, we do have bigger windows. Number 19. Why did you cancel your visit to the doctor? A. Because I'm feeling better now. B. The credit card hasn't expired. C. That's a nice place. Number 20. How long has your house been listed for sale? A. At Ingrid's house. B. I'm not sure I have time. C. Just over six weeks. Number 21. I'm surprised we haven't received the product design yet. A. You can use my stapler. B. The name on the cover sheet. C. Didn't you get the memo? Number 22. What did you think of the social media seminar? A. I registered for a different session. B. 
He's downstairs. C. I'll suggest that. Number 23. Where would I be able to find Ms. Moreau this afternoon? A. To reserve a room. B. No, at 9 a.m. C. She'll be in room 235. Number 24. The new assembly plant's hiring soon, isn't it? A. In the garden. B. Can you assemble it? C. I already filled out an application. Number 25. Aren't we supposed to take the highway to the airport? A. It's not on the market yet. B. There's road maintenance going on. C. The flight to Singapore. Number 26. Do I sign for the delivery or does someone else sign? A. It arrived on time. B. You should do it. C. At the back entrance. Number 27. When will that company release its healthy snack bars? A. It's about 8 kilometers from here. B. I haven't tried that way yet. C. We'll have to look at their website. Number 28. The client called to say he'll be late. A. The traffic is much worse on Fridays. B. Working on most weekends. C. Please don't hesitate to contact me. Number 29. How were the sales for our sports apparel this quarter? A. They increased by 7%. B. He plays football very well. C. Hand me those nails. Number 30. Are you buying a phone with a bigger screen or with better sound quality? A. I have to check the prices. B. Yesterday at 4 o'clock. C. No, I don't think so. Number 31. Would you mind setting up the product displays? A. A new tablet computer. B. The office next door is warm. C. Actually, I'm on my break. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Wow, the new wood flooring in our hotel's lobby looks really nice. The installation company we hired did a great job. I know. It was definitely worth closing the hotel for a few days to finish up the renovation. Yes, it was. Now we need to have the furniture moved back in here. Right. I'll call the maintenance department now and ask about that. They should move it this afternoon, since we reopen tomorrow. Number 32. Where do the speakers work? Number 33. Why was a building temporarily closed? Number 34. What is the man going to do next?
Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Monica, I wanted to talk to you about our company's annual employee appreciation dinner. I'm in charge of planning it this year. I know it was at the Rose Banquet Hall last year. Yes, it was, but it doesn't have to be held there. How about that new Italian restaurant in Hillside instead? But isn't that restaurant too far from the office? That might discourage people from coming to the dinner. I don't think so. The company always provides shuttle service from the office, so people can take that bus if they don't want to drive. Number 35. What are the speakers planning? Number 36. What does the woman suggest? Number 37. What does the woman say will be provided? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hi, Anna and Peter. Can you look at this design I created for our store's new sign? It's much better than the current one. I'm glad you made the words larger on the new sign. I like it too, but I think we should also mention that we're open until 10 p.m., you know, to promote the idea that customers have longer to shop here. I like that idea, Peter. Do you want to help me? Sure. I can do that now. In that case, I can work on the weekly inventory list. Thanks, Anna. It'll take a while to update the list of available products in stock. Number 38. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 39. What suggestion does the man make? Number 40. What does Anna offer to do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Thanks for calling Ewing Books. How may I help you? Hello. Do you have Organization for All in stock? It's a book by James Dobby. Let me see. Hmm. It looks like that particular item is currently sold out, but we're scheduled to get another shipment early next week. Oh. In that case, would you mind holding a copy for me when the books arrive? I'm awfully sorry, but we can't hold copies for customers. But if you give me your phone number, I'll make a note to call you as soon as the shipment is here. Number 41. What type of business is the man calling? Number 42. What will happen next week? Number 43. What information does the woman ask for? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hello. I ordered a sofa from your store. But I re-measured my doorway, and I'm afraid the sofa may be too large to fit through it. Ah, uh, I understand. You know, the sofa will arrive unassembled, so it should fit without a problem. It'll take my delivery team about an hour to put it together. Oh, that's good to know. One more question. It's scheduled to be delivered on Friday. Could you reschedule everything for Saturday? Number 44. What is the woman concerned about? Number 45. What does the man say his team will do at the woman's house?
Number 46. What does the woman ask the man to do? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Sun Yi. I'd like to hire a temporary employee. I need someone to go through the back office filing cabinets. Sure. I can look into hiring someone. Are there any specific skills you're looking for? Yes. I'd like whoever we hire to scan and catalog architectural plans and sketches from the past five years, so computer skills are a must. Okay. How long would you need to hire the person for? Hopefully a year. Can you check the budget to see if it's possible? Number 47. Why does the man want to hire a temporary employee? Number 48. According to the man, what does the job require? Number 49. What does the man ask the woman to do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Jin He. There's going to be a huge convention in town next week with around 20,000 attendees. I'm thinking about keeping the restaurant open later on those nights to get the extra business. I just need to make sure that I have a server who can work late each night. That sounds good. I'd love to work an extra shift. I could use the money to have some work done on my car. It's been making a strange noise for the last two weeks. OK. Which night are you available to stay late then? Hmm. Thursday is my mother's birthday. How about Friday? That'll work. Thanks. Number 50. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 51. What does the woman say about her car? Number 52. What does the woman mean when she says, Thursday is my mother's birthday. Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hi, Juan. Welcome to your first day at TKZ Accounting. I'm Kate from the Training Division of Human Resources. And I'm Rachel Goldberg. We organize new hire training for all the accountants, so we'll be working with you closely over the next week. Very nice to meet you both, and I'm looking forward to working with you. This is my first full-time job in accounting. Before we begin your training, do you have any questions? Yes, actually. When I came in for my interview, I had to pay to park my car. But is there free parking for TKZ employees? Yes. There's a special parking sticker in your new employee materials folder there on the table. Be sure to put it on your car before tomorrow morning. Number 53. What most likely is the man's position? Number 54. What do the women do at their company? Number 55. What does the man ask about? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Mara, I'd like to talk to you about the spring jacket designs. Maybe after your meeting? My meeting was cancelled. OK. So, I just looked over your drawings. What did you think of them? I like the jacket designs overall, but I'm concerned that there aren't enough inside pockets. You should add more on the inside. All right. It shouldn't be too hard to add another pocket or two to the designs. I'll go and look over my sketches right now and see what I can change. Number 56. 
Which industry do the speakers most likely work in? Number 57. What does the woman mean when she says, My meeting was cancelled. Number 58. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Omar, we should discuss what we're going to cover in the company's upcoming computer security seminar. I was thinking we could address best practices for password security. Yeah, good idea. People often ask questions about creating passwords. The seminar is mandatory, right? If not, it should be. I don't think we should require all employees to come. Some people might already have meetings scheduled. Well, let's ask our supervisor and see what she thinks. Okay. And at the end, I'd like to give everyone a survey asking them about their experiences with technical support. It would help to find out if the system we have in place works for them. Number 59. What is the topic of an upcoming seminar? Number 60. What aspect of the seminar do the speakers disagree about? Number 61. What does the woman want to distribute after the seminar? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and schedule. The results of your checkup look good overall. Congratulations! You're in much better shape than you were when you last visited our medical practice. What have you been doing to keep healthy? Well, I've been jogging a lot more lately, but sometimes my knees hurt. I love aerobic exercise, but I don't want to get injured. Is there something else I could do? Well, you could try swimming. It's easier on the knees. I believe they have weekly open swim times for adults at the local community center. Here, I happen to have their spring schedule with me. I'm actually free on that day. I'll give it a try. Thanks. Number 62. Who most likely is the man? Number 63. What does the woman ask the man about? Number 64. Look at the graphic. When will the woman probably go to the community center in the spring? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and map. Excuse me, do you work here? I'm visiting the city for the first time, and I'm not sure which train line I should take. Okay, where do you want to go? I'm trying to get to the city theatre. I'm going to see a play there tonight. Oh, the theatre is next to the Prospect Avenue station. Unfortunately, that line is closed for repairs. You know what? You can take the train to the 5th Street station and then take the bus to the theatre from there. Thanks. Will I need to buy a separate ticket for the bus? No. You can use your train pass to transfer to the bus for free. Number 65. What does the man say he is doing tonight? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Which train line will the man most likely take? Number 67. 
What does the man ask about a bus? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and chart. Hello. I'd like to exchange these headphones for a different pair. I purchased them yesterday, but when I tried them on at home, I just didn't like them. Sure, I can help you with that. Tell me more about what you're looking for so I can recommend a different pair. Well, I want the kind of headphones that you wear on your head, and I'd like the ones that reduce noise. I'm an electrical engineer, and there's a lot of noise on job sites. It makes it hard to focus. Okay, that helps. Matt Faze Electronics makes great headphones. I'd recommend this model here. They're the best at reducing noise, and I think you'll like them. Great. Thanks for your help. Number 68. Why is the woman at the store? Number 69. What is the woman's job? Number 70. Look at the graphic. What model does the man recommend? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Good afternoon, Mr. Rivera. I'm calling from Milford Limited. Thank you for applying for our marketing director position. We were very impressed with your resume, especially the large amount of experience speaking in public you've had at other marketing firms. Public speaking is definitely a requirement for our position. We'd like to invite you to interview with us next week. Can you please let me know when you'd be available to come to our office? Thanks. Number 71. What field does the listener most likely work in? Number 72. What job requirement does the speaker mention? Number 73. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Hi everyone. This meeting shouldn't last too long. I just want to go over our company's plans for the Red Grove Marathon that's happening next month. So, we'll be sponsoring a food station for the runners and their families. It's going to be a long race, so let's use this opportunity to promote some of our newest protein bar flavours. The mint chocolate and berry blast, for example. Leanna, why don't you oversee the selection of the protein bars for the run? Number 74. What event is the speaker discussing? Number 75. What does the company most likely sell? Number 76. What does the speaker ask Leanna to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following broadcast. You're listening to Radio 4 London. With me in the studio tonight is Anne Pochon, the well-known French photographer who just recently published her autobiography. Anne spent nearly a decade compiling her personal photographs and memories, which resulted in a handsome, illustrated volume that is available in bookstores now. 
The autobiography was released at the perfect time. Ms. Pochon's private collection of photographs was just sold to the Gateway Art Museum, where an exhibition of her work is set to open in June. Anne and I will discuss her career and future plans after a short commercial break. Number 77. Who is Anne Pochon? Number 78. What does the speaker say will happen in June? Number 79. What will the speaker most likely do next? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. As you know, their chemical industry convention is coming up in May, and the four of you have been selected to attend. You'll be participating in demonstrations and workshops promoting our many chemical products. I know this will be your first time representing our company, and you'll probably have questions as you prepare, but remember we have all the convention information available for you, and I went to the convention last year. Also, when you return from your trip, we'll ask you to give a presentation to your colleagues on what you learned about our competitors and potential customers. Number 80. What does the company sell? Number 81. What does the speaker mean when he says, I went to the convention last year. Number 82. What does the speaker want the listeners to do when they return? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following introduction. Welcome to Rockstone Bank. Over the next six weeks, you will complete an internship that aims to teach you the basics of banking. At the end of the internship, you will have the opportunity to apply for a permanent bank teller position. Now, I'd like to introduce our branch manager, Ms. Leah Enfield. Ms. Enfield has worked at Rockstone Bank for 25 years. She will begin your orientation today with a presentation on our corporate culture, that is, the way we do things here at the bank. Now, please join me in welcoming our branch manager, Ms. Leah Enfield. Number 83. Why are the listeners at Rockstone Bank? Number 84. What is Ms. Enfield's position? Number 85. What will Ms. Enfield speak about? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following tour information. Hello, and welcome to Coldwell Family Farm. Today at our farm, you'll have the opportunity to tour the fields and go inside our greenhouses to see a wide variety of flowers. You'll also hear from our farmers, who will share with you what it takes to grow such fresh, beautiful flowers. But remember that this is an outdoor tour, so please take your hats, sunglasses, and anything else you need to protect yourself from the sun. We'll end the tour in our farm store, and all of our flower pots are 20% off. Enjoy! Number 86 where is the talk most likely taking place? Number 87. What does the speaker remind the listeners to do? Number 88. 
What does the speaker mean when she says, All of our flower pots are 20% off. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following instructions. Thanks for coming to this informal training session. So, this new scheduling software is something all managers will be using from now on. It's not complicated, but a couple of its features are different from our old scheduling software. I've already got it open on my computer, so let's look at the spreadsheet with employees' names. First, after entering the hours for an employee, remember to hit Save, not Next. You have to save one person's data before you can enter the next. Oh no, my computer seems to have stopped working. Let me restart it and try again. I'm sorry for this interruption. Number 89. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 90. According to the speaker, what should the listeners remember to do? Number 91. Why does the speaker apologize? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following broadcast. Hi, I'm your host, Nina Hudson, and this is Nibble, the weekly podcast about the history of food. On today's episode, I'll be talking about cutlery and other eating utensils, why some cultures primarily use chopsticks to eat and others use forks and knives. But before we get started, I'd like to announce that for the first time ever, Nibble is going to be broadcasting an episode live next month. You can find information about how to be in the studio audience on our website. And while you're there, you can also submit a review of our program to let us know what topics you'd like us to cover in the future. That'll only take a minute. Number 92. What is the topic of this week's podcast? Number 93. What does the speaker say will take place next month? Number 94. Why does the speaker say, That'll only take a minute. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and order form. Hello, this message is for Howard. I'm calling from the sales department at Evergreen Technology. I was in your print shop just yesterday to order some business cards for my salespeople. Well, I see now that I made a mistake on the number of cards we need for Barbara Reynolds. I'll actually need to double the order of Barbara's cards. If that's not a problem, I'll stop by the shop tomorrow afternoon to pick up everyone's cards at the same time. Number 95. Which department does the speaker work in? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which quantity needs to be changed? Number 97. What does the speaker say he will do tomorrow? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and list of services. Hi, Kim. I'm calling about the preparations for opening our new restaurant. I just stopped by the building to check on the dining room renovations and I was really pleased at how good the place looks. I've also checked into merchant service companies that process credit card payments for small businesses, and I sent you a list of the best features that each company offers. There's one that doesn't charge for the equipment we need to read the credit cards, so that's an attractive feature. But another company allows people to pay at the table using their mobile phones. 
I think customers would really appreciate that convenience, so I suggest using that one. Number 98. What type of business is being launched? Number 99. What does the speaker say she is pleased about? Number 100. Look at the graphic. Which company does the speaker want to use? This is the end of the listening test. Turn to part 5 in your test book. End of recording. Mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part 1 will begin. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 in your test book. A. She's closing a door. B. She's washing some plates. C. She's preparing some food. D. She's sweeping a floor. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. They're taking off their jackets. B. They're walking outside. C. They're going into a building. D. They're packing some luggage. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. They're shaking hands across a counter. B. They're putting stamps on envelopes. C. A man is organizing documents in a folder. D. A woman is writing on a piece of paper. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. Some ladders have been set up in a workspace. B. Some chairs have been lined up against a wall. C. Some plants have been placed on the ground. D. Some cabinet drawers have been left open. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. A man is loading some bricks onto a cart. B. A man is cutting the grass alongside a road. C. A man is driving a truck into a parking garage. D. A man is using a shovel to move some dirt. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. A bridge crosses over a waterway. B. A dock is crowded with tourists. C. Some boats are sailing in the ocean. D. Some ropes are piled on top of a box. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number 7. Number 7. Will you be paying with cash? A. It is recyclable. B. They paid attention. C. No, with a credit card. Number 8. Why didn't Karen apply for the position? A. She isn't qualified. B. In the supply drawer. C. 
sometime last week. Number 9. Is the health care lecture today or tomorrow? A. On the corner of 5th and State Streets. B. I'll finish it by the end of the day. C. It's today in 15 minutes. Number 10. Which train car needs to be inspected? A. Tickets are $20. B. The one right behind the engine. C. I don't think so. Number 11. Have you found a good doctor yet? A. Here, take my pencil. B. That's what I think too. C. Yes, I saw her last week. Number 12. When are we leaving for the airport? A. I believe so. B. As soon as the bus arrives. C. I did read the report. Number 13. Who's taking the shipment up to the tenants in 3D? A. It starts at 3.30. B. Sure, that's fine with me. C. I'll ask Daniel to do it. Number 14. How can we advertise to different age groups? A. Yes, they are. B. By using social media. C. No, you have to drive there. Number 15. I want to send this package to Texas. A. When does it have to arrive? B. Here's the lunch menu. C. At the beginning. Number 16. Where did you put the instruction manual? A. During our annual fundraiser. B. I left it on your desk. C. He didn't introduce me. Number 17. I hope Mr. Joe likes our updates to the office design. A. A new receptionist. B. How many signs? C. He already approved them. Number 18. When are we going to hear from the architect? A. That sounds great. B. Probably this afternoon. C. An office building on Vine Street. Number 19. Could you remind me to call the cleaning service tomorrow? A. Next to the front office. B. Sorry, I'll be on vacation. C. A broken window. Number 20. Who received the promotion to department director? A. It hasn't been announced. B. Right, a large account. C. OK, I'll think about it. Number 21. Are there enough presentation packets, or should I get some more? A. We need five more. B. I think that's your jacket. C. 20% off. Number 22. How do I volunteer to help with the company picnic? A. I'd like a lemonade, please. B. They played a great game. C. Megumi is organizing that. Number 23. Helen's training the new interns, isn't she? A. No, she works at the branch office now. B. To Granville University.
C. We can take the later train. Number 24. Is the maintenance staff going to polish the floors next week? A. They do it once a month. B. I decided not to go after all. C. No, it's not on Main Street. Number 25. Where should I park the delivery truck? A. Do you know where the loading dock is? B. I'd love to go to the park. C. Yes, we do deliver on Sundays. Number 26. Would you like me to call you a taxi? A. About seven kilometres. B. My car is right around the corner. C. Thank you for your visit. Number 27. Didn't Insuk leave the store at five yesterday? A. In the storage room. B. I need to go shopping today. C. No, she stayed late to help a customer. Number 28. You've placed your food order already, haven't you? A. A table for ten, please. B. I'm still waiting for a menu. C. The office supplies haven't arrived. Number 29. What section of the speech do you want to start working on? A. The awards ceremony isn't until the 8th. B. She's changing jobs. C. This microphone doesn't work. Number 30. Should we use the extra money on computers or on chairs? A. Please, have a seat over there. B. On the lower right corner of the screen. C. We've had the same computers for five years. Number 31. Miss Sato can't go to the board meeting today. A. Oh, then I'll take the notes. B. Actually, I'm a vegetarian. C. Conference room B.